Read Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment. That's the best investigation of that tactic that's ever been produced, because what happens in Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment is that the main character, whose name is Raskolnikov, decides that there's no intrinsic value to other people, and that as a consequence, he can do whatever he wants. It's only cowardice that stops him from acting, right? Because why would it, why would it be anything else if, other people, if the value of other people is just an arbitrary superstition? Raskolnikov does. He kills someone who's a very horrible person, and he has very good reasons for killing her, and he's half-starved and a little bit insane, and possessed by this ideology, it's brilliant, brilliant layout. And he finds out something after he kills her, which is that the post-killing Raskolnikov and the pre-killing Raskolnikov are not the same person, even a little bit. Because he's broken a rule, like he's broken a serious rule, and there's no going back. And Crime and Punishment is, 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 a, is the best investigation I know of, of what happens if you take the notion that there's nothing divine about the individual seriously.